Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is probably one of the best games I've ever played, and definitely the best Smash game. You had the original, which, you know, introduced us to the series, and then you had Melee, which... <laughs> you had Brawl, which had mixed opinions, but I liked personally. Uh, and then you had 3DS and Wii U, and everybody was kind of like... Eh. About it. Huh. Just like the Wii U. And then we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, baby! I know I'm recording this like a week late because everybody's already moved on from Smash Bros. Because games can't survive a week anymore. Um, but whatever, I like the game and I'm going to review it as I want. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a 2018 crossover fighting game developed by Bandai Namco Studios and Sora Limited and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. It really does bring me happiness when I play this game. I got Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U back when it released in 2014 as a Christmas present. Ever since that day, I've been a huge fan of the Smash Bros. franchise. Did I play Brawl a couple times with my neighbor when I was younger? Sure, but I barely remember that, okay? Now stop harassing me. Just get on with the review, Kyle! <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy Joe! Nobody likes you. Jeez. In terms of gameplay, this game is great. Everything I do feels so amazing, like I actually did my chores when my parents told me to. The zooming when you make a crucial move feels so great. It's like... Oh! Oh! Hey, We got him, boy! Everything you do feels super extra, and that's just what I need in the game. I always feel like I can do so many creative things in this game, like the possibilities are endless, which technically they are, but I really don't feel like getting into that right now. There are so many characters in this game. I still need to unlock around 20 of them, but I'm so close! So close, I swear! Ah! My main concern with this game was that I would feel so lost, considering the fact that I had no idea what to do when playing the previous games. It was button mashing. But it felt surprisingly good to get used to controls, what characters had the best moves for me to use, learning the strategy of other players, and it's been two weeks. I am already confident I will get the hang of this game. It's really fun to explore and learn new things all the time. I didn't even know dodging was a thing until three days in. Or grabbing, or different moves for the A and B buttons, or how to mid-air dodge, or shield. Jeez, I really didn't know how to play this game. Gosh dang, this game's adventure mode is good. I was worried I would see a lot of repetitiveness just because of the sheer vastness of it in the game. But it's remained to keep me interested in it throughout the whole thing. A lot of interesting scenarios have played out in this game during the story mode, and Nintendo always thinks of clever ways to make the spear seem like a real character. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, the new addition to the Smash Bros. franchise has a mode called Spirits Mode, which essentially lets a bunch of characters from multiple different franchises be in the game by giving you a special ability to fight enemies, which you can level up through spirit battles. It's a really interesting concept. Would have been better if Waluigi was a playable character. <laughs> Spirits Mode never ceases to make me smile when I see a franchise I love be represented like this. Just puts a big ol' smile on my face. Ah! And the best part about the game is that we have a whole new music section. That's right. Your Nintendo Switch can be your music player for epic songs such as... Tetris Type B. Is this even Tetris? All in all, Smash Bros. Ultimate is a great game. The characters are great, the UI is great, the action feels great, the adventure mode is one of the best in the series, and the fact that I can use this thing as my portable Nintendo Spotify is great. I give it an 8.5. By the way, a little thing I forgot to mention. The reason I gave it an 8.5 and, and I explained everything that was great about the game was because the online multiplayer is probably one of the worst online multiplayers I've ever seen. <laughs> so, um, for anybody asking, that's why I gave it a bad review on that front, because I hate playing, like, online games that have a really bad multiplayer, 
Like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, guys, look, it's Smash Bros, bro. Uh, we should go play Smash Bros uh, multiplayer. And then I'll go on, and it'll be like, no, you you can't play the game. You're going to lag out of connection. Plug a freaking Ethernet cable into your Switch. What do you expect? We're, like, a multi-million dollar franchise. We're not going to make a good online multiplayer for a game that's been respected and loved by many people for multiple years. Um, anyways, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to go. That, that was my rant on why I gave it an 8 out of 5, because the multiplayer is trash, but everything else is great. Bye.